Oh. Don't worry, help is at hand. <clears throat> Coffee's brewing. Well, I'd say this looks like the mother of all hangovers. Except, that's what you had yesterday, isn't it? Oh, perhaps it was the day before. This must be the... This must be the... The great-grandmother, then. When's it gonna stop, Zach? I'll give it a rest, Marlon. Gonna drink yourself into an early grave. I might not. What? What? I might not have time to. Zach, stop it. This is a lump, right? A tiny little lump. Not a death warrant, but you've got to have it checked. And you've really got to talk to Lisa. No. You know what you did to that woman last night, Zach? You know how you treated her? You just destroyed her. You tore her to pieces in front of her friends. You're the one who's always banging on about dingle pride and loyalty. Where was the loyalty there? Where's the pride in that? And where do you think her pride is now, eh? I'm only talking to you like this because I care about you, you great lummock. I know you only did it because you're too scared to tell her what's really going on. Tell her, Zach. Go on, talk to her. No! You've no right to lecture me. You know now. Now that she. Good morning. Is it? Oh dear. Not feeling too chirpy today. Chirpy, no. Oh well. Never mind. Here's your paper. And uh, oh, I've got you a surprise treat today. <coughs> Kippers. Oh no, not today, sorry. Oh? I just couldn't. Well, they're fresh from the fish shop. Well, at least they were yesterday. If you see what I mean. Alan enjoyed them. Is that dog going to be a permanent fixture? No, the Daggetts are just, um, passing trade. They'll be gone soon. Good. Why don't you like dogs? I love them, but not when they bark incessantly between the hours of 12 and 8 every night. Well, I didn't hear anything and Alan didn't mention it. Well, then you must sleep like the dead. Well, I certainly do not. <clears throat> it's Terry. He snores. I know. Thanks to the dog waking me up, I heard him faintly between the canine howls. By the end of the night, I could hear every sound for eight miles. That's what sleeplessness does to you. I'll speak to him. <sighs> Thank you. Danny, that is. Not Terry. Come on, Naz. It's time to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, I'll see you again. Thanks for the great night. And you? I'll get you number. No. <laughs> see you later. See you later. Not for a while, have you? Nope. How was it? Oh, flipping fantastic. Well, he did see me. He was drop dead gorgeous. Have you seen any more of him? What do you mean any more? I've seen all like. Oh, sorry. You mean will I be seeing him again? Oh, well, you never know your look. Hey. <laughs> anyway, enough of my exciting sex life. I'm going to start talking about my exciting sex life now, aren't we? Oh, don't give up hope. Anyway, it starts with going out. I think we've been down here before. Anyway, I know it's your birthday on Sunday. Jason, you remembered. <laughs> well, you know, and I know you've reached the ripe old age. Yeah, I'm not going to remember anymore. <laughs> well, there's this club in Hotton. Great club. No, ambidextrous. And they've got this 80s night on Thursday, and I thought, you know, that's your era. Well, it was. Well, they are, then. I was 10 in 1989. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, are you up for it? I'll think about it. Great. So that's one double room for two nights. I'll see you about five. Bye. Uh, just a minute. I'm a bit late for work, actually. Yeah, well, I've had a complaint about that dog. Where are you from? A mind from who? Well, from one of my guests, actually. Well, I suppose not everyone likes dogs. No, it's not that at all. He says... My guest says he does like dogs, but not dogs that bark all the time. It kept everybody awake all last night. Well, it didn't keep me awake. Look, perhaps your guest room is a bit close to Danny's room. Perhaps Danny and I could swap. So the dog's further away from your guest? No. From now on, the dog is going to be tethered outside. Oh, but... Look! We didn't know we were getting a dog because you didn't mention it to Terry. 
And actually, we do have a policy on dogs. So, from now on, it's outside. And consider yourself lucky that I'm putting up with it at all. Some toast here. Tart. Should be at work. Oh, aye. Late night with Chloe. <laughs> yeah, I'm knackered. I slept really well. Yeah? Mm. Then my mind up. I'm gonna phone Greta. Who's Greta? The woman in Stevenage. The big client. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna ask her, if I was to set up on my own and I could offer her a more competitive price, would she be interested in transferring the company accounts to me? Well, it sounds a good idea. Then I'm gonna go to the bank, speak to the bank manager, tell him I've got the experience, the expertise, the contacts, and one big client already in the bag. Hmm, that's assuming you already have. I mean, what if she says no? Then I'll bluff him. But I think she'll say yeah. Well, best of luck then. Yeah, I've got on really well with Greta the other day. Plus, the bank manager knows me now. No, I mean, telling Chris. <sighs> She's on edge of chucking us out, I know she is. I can't bear, though, to going back to that hostel. Hostel? Hostel? I was in a hostel before this. Not always been homeless. I had my own house till not so long ago, or so I thought. But then when uh, Phil and I fell out, I found out he'd not been paying mortgage. He'd just took me money and drank it all, probably. <sighs> Who's Phil? Danny's dad? Nah. Nah, you were way down line. But they're all the same men. Nine day wonders, lot of them. They all just trash you over it end. <laughs> oh, love, what's the matter? It's just that, that's what he did. What? He trashed me over, Sin, last night. I did what you said, Sin. I made a real effort. I made him a special meal. Honest, I did, Sin. It cost a fortune. I made the house look nicer. I told myself up. And he... And he never turned up, so I went down the pub to get him. And he... He said... He said... Terrible things to me in front of everyone. It sort of like said she was a tart. <laughs> that man of yours is way, way <laughs> out of line. Oh, was in here. He hasn't come back. Not last night. I've know. never seen him since. Letting you worry yourself like this. I know I can't concentrate on anything. <laughs> oh, I could kill him! That's the spirit. You've got to fight back. You can't let him get away with it, otherwise it'll become a pattern. You've got to fight back. How can I fight back when he's not there? Oh, he'll come back. Do you really think so? Of course he will. If only to get some clean pants. All right. All right, then. I'll just wait till he does. Till he tries to. That's it. Fighting talk. So what are you going to do? Show me it ain't that easy. <laughs> <laughs> Want to be real? Uh, no, child. I heard about last night. Aye. Right. What did you hear? I heard that I go at least for him, boom. Somebody took with you two. She's a good woman, is Lisa. None better, actually. Apart from my Betty. Seth, I don't need anybody to explain the virtues of my wife. Somebody took with you, then? Maybe. Well, go on. Uh, happen we'll have that brew after all. OK. I have uh, got a bit of a problem. Oh, ah, uh, uh, problem. Ah, uh, problem. It's a problem down below. Is that lad? I know what it is. You do. Uh, no need to worry. Not to be ashamed on. Plenty of men have that problem. Suffer from it, Miss Annie. You. Yeah. Only on a temporary basis, then we've gone on to enjoy our conjugal relationships with our various ladies. Con conjugal? Uh... And I know an old remedy for it. Ash, nasturtium and nettle. 
finest after jack in the world and I'll make you some up. Well, let me pick her up again in no time at all. Naz! 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 Again? Whoa, whoa. Oh, well. Just thought I'd see how the workers were getting on. Yeah, the workers are just going to stop for a cup of tea, weren't they? Ah, uh, were they? <laughs> yeah, of course they are. I'll go and make one. He's only doing that because I brought the donuts in. <laughs> and how was your day been? Not bad. I can't stop thinking about Ollie coming head to head with Gladstone and Disraeli. Do you remember exams? 11 plus? I hated him. It's her last one. I can't believe how hard she's worked at him. Look, why don't we have that Chinese takeaway tonight? Yeah, good idea. She deserves it. You could ask Sean along. Who? Ollie would like it. Oh, you mean your son, my estranged husband, Ollie's adored father? Mm, she does love him to bits, though, you know. I know. I'll give him a call. Okay. Well, I've done it. Yeah? Yep. Greta says she's going to run with me. The bank are going to back me all the way. It's a going concern. Richie Carter technology. Yeah. You going solo? It's all Chris, yeah. This place isn't very big to support two companies of that sort. He's not going to like it, you know. Yeah, who cares? Anyway, I don't stick around here, do I? It's time we moved on. Hmm. This sounds like donuts all round. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> doing that because I haven't made enough for him anyway talking about my dad me and Sam were talking about Zach yeah well I won't worry about whether there's enough for him or not why not I will look at the time he obviously ain't coming home for his tea anyway like he didn't come home for his dinner or his breakfast Of course, a true love not running too smooth these days, Lisa. Well, at least I've still got a relationship. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Nothing at all. It's just one of them things you say. Yeah, well... I won't be too sure any, Rod, about that relationship. It's the way I'm seeing things. You could be out. Paddy! Paddy! What is it? I found him in a field near Jax. <laughs> She's been shot. Shh, uh, uh, good boy. Just keep him stuff. Can you do anything for him? Nothing I could do, Zach. I had to put him down. And I just had a phone call from Jack saying he had to shoot a dog for mauling one of his sheep. Uh. He, he said it had run off, but he was pretty sure he did it. So I suppose we couldn't let a dog go roaming round like that after, anyway. No. Lovely dog, though. Um, well cared for and everything there. Uh, wonder why whoever it was didn't just keep him on the lead then. I don't know. But he wouldn't have felt anything after I'd... Uh, and, and better to die quickly like that, once he was in pain, than, than slowly alone in a, in a ditch somewhere. Um, you know, uh, you all right? Hmm? Me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, well, I need a drink. Oh, I'll be in later. Yeah, I'm going for a walk. Right. Plates from the oven. 
We need troughs, not plates. I've brought the whole menu. You think she's joking? They shut up shop when we left. Mr Lee was on the phone booking his summer holiday just on the strength of tonight's taking. <laughs> <laughs> she's proper comic, isn't she? Hey, timing. All right, Dad. His mum has just come over. Yeah. Special celebration, isn't it? Cool. So, did you enjoy our meal the other night? Mm, I did. It's quite a find, your chef. Get yourself a good chef, you're halfway there. Oh, I think you're more than halfway there. <laughs> do you? Mm, definitely. Then we must do it again sometime. Mm, we must. Pity you're working tonight, really. Well, as it happens, I'm finishing early tonight. Well, how about a nightcap, then? Uh, I've got some very good cognac next door. About 9.30? Can't wait. History will be a C, French will be a C, IT will be an A, maybe. But maths is the only one I'm really sure I've failed. Blimey. So, GCSE's over with, college next. Flaming heck. And then I'm going to make some money in the holidays. Good lass. Some real money, though. How? Well, shop work, factory work, waitressing, hot and market, fruit picking in Scotland. What? Yeah, cos I'm going to save up and go away with my mates in the last week. What? Yeah, come back, do my A-levels, go to college. Yeah, if you pass. University, maybe. In your dreams. Have a fantastic career, make a million, clear get off with a gorgeous bloke, and then go to America. Pity she's not a bit more ambitious, really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Louise. Thanks, Pete. I'm uh, going next door. See you there in uh, a couple of hours. Mm, maybe less if I can get away. You were chatting her up, weren't you? No, well, imperceptibly. Mm, she's spoken for. Yeah, I noticed. But come up with me on Thursday. Oh, no, 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 you mean for my birthday. Well, have you stuck us balls? I don't know. Oh, come on, you need to meet some new women. All right. Great. Mum, what? It's Naz. I've lost him. I took him off his leave for a run. He never came back. He'll turn up. No, this was hours ago. He's never gone off for this long. It's a new place. He'll turn up. It'd be a lot easier if he didn't. Could just go and look for him, bring him home. You tried that yesterday. No, I want him to come home because he wants to, because he's ready. Then I'll show him. Uh, just going for a wee, Zach. Have you been home at all today? Yeah. Zach. Come here a minute. That's yours, old love. What? I've got your stuff. Stuff? For your little problem. Oh, I don't need it. You don't need it? I don't need it, sir. Well, you mean you've been back home and seen Lisa like and... Everything were all all right? Yeah, yeah. Everything were all all right. Yeah. I'm right pleased for you. Only don't forget, if it ever happens again, I've got it here. OK, look, have you been home? Yeah. And have you talked to her? Yeah. Right, well, you're lying. Yeah. Go and talk to her. Go and talk to her. Oh, fine, don't talk to her. I give up. All right. Um, but also, I've been um, overseas to, to collect seed at Agba. He'll turn up. Oh, really? You found Naz? Sorry. Can I help you? Louise? Hi. Uh, 
Shall we uh, go to my room? More private. Well, really. Later. The door's locked to summer. Alicia, what's going on? Alicia, let me in, Alicia. I, I, want, I want to talk to you. Well, you can't! I've locked you out! I'm locking you out until you can show me a bit of respect! Alicia, I'm sorry. L let, let me in. I, I need to talk to you about summer. You can get lost! Please, it's important! Last night were important to me! And you treated me like dirt, like dirt in front of everyone. Lisa, I'm sorry. Please, l let me in. Don't let me die, I'll be all in a ditch. Oh, he's drunk, this little fool. I need you. Last night I needed you. You go away and think about that for a bit. Lisa, please, I need you. D don't do this to me, not now. I, I need you. I love you. All right, your bank. See you back here, then. Need you, your bank. I don't need you. I don't need anyone. 